Okay, on to number seven, which we don't have much about this one. Batman Superman movie. Yes, it was actually just announced today when we were recording it. Yes, uh, so we don't really have much on this at all. We don't have much in, uh, about it at all, but the quote, they, the quote that I heard they used was... God, I'm going to actually look this up. Dean Lord Bamp. Oh, okay. Say, well, say stuff. While he's looking that up, because we're doing this in real time, I'm going to look up, see what we have here. Announced by Harry Cavill. Okay, here it is. The quote, oh. they, the quote that they apparently used was from during the panel or whatever the announcement was I want you to remember my hand at your throat I want you to remember the one man who beat you which was from the Dark Knight Returns and that's what Superman or Batman says to Batman. Superman before he beats the living crap out of him um so this may be a film where they're at odds like they're not immediately seen that, like they're going against each other you know you, know who, I want, I, you know who I want to see question I want to see Doomsday, but that's not going to happen. No, I want um, to see Question, because he'll just walk around and ask people questions. But I've and I've, I've also read The Dark Knight Returns, and they're apparently using that. Not They're not going to be adapting that, because that's when they're like really old. Mm -hmm. And Superman's more of a slave to the government. But they're going to be kind of inspired by that. And so thing... it's definitely going to be dark. The question is now, however... Who is going to play Batman? I don't know, because they really need, they're going to change it up, because they're going to put whoever most likely is going to be the Batman in this film will be the one in the Justice League film. Yeah, and they also have a lot to live up to from the previous Batman. Mm. Yeah, so whoever you, you're going to see in this is most likely going to be in the Justice League film and all the other I, They have actually a lot of animated films. The, the DC animated films are really good. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the, numerous. So you don't really have to worry about them being childish, because... There's something like the Red Hood of, of Superman vs. the Elite. I liked Red Hood. That was Batman a really good anime one. one. They're, that, they're, that very, really they're, good. Like, they're not for kids. They're, they're some very violent. No, yeah. They, they do well with Batman's original story. That If you read original Batman a long time ago, they were not childish things. No. Uh, what I'm hoping that they just do for this one, like just secretly, I hope that they... Well, it's not a secret anymore. I hope they go down the 1960s path. And just no. become really campy. Yeah, Batman's um not Batman's uh Superman's cape will be um like a really light red for and some he'll reason. Go go dancers into his nuclear reactor. It, if you don't understand that joke, go watch uh, the nineteen uh, uh, yeah. uh, fifty sixties Batman. He, TV he series. has a nuclear reactor in his bat cave and it's open top. Yeah, go watch that. It's hilarious. If you don't laugh at it, you don't have a soul. You don't have a soul. So now we're we're going to number um, eight, RoboCop twenty fourteen edition. I have some stuff about this. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be rated PG thirteen. First time we need to know. Okay. the The original was rated R. It's a very hard R, but the original RoboCop's a very violent, violent movie. Yes, it is. It, they, like, they they he got all of his limbs blown off. <laughs> Murphy's death scene. And that's in the begin. And that's in the beginning of the film. <laughs> it's almost excessive. It's just like his limbs are getting shot off, and he's like a bulletproof vest now. But like it's ah. Uh. So they're remaking it. Essentially, yeah, we have Joel uh, Kidman as being Alex Murphy. Um, and we got Jack Lewis, Roman Sar and he's got a lot of their casting characters. Samuel Jackson is going to be in it, so. Hopefully, he'll have some, well, have some good amount of screen time. From screen what time. the original RoboCop. Uh, had some kind of satire in it, like kind of political satire. Well, it, like, it it was um towards corporations, uh, corporations and police states. Yeah, it was, but it was also a very human tale. Like the character of Robocop or Murphy, however you want to call him, it was it was like a very human tale of like, is he still human underneath all those robo parts? Yeah, because you got to the end of the film, he was accessing his memories and going after Call people. Call me Murphy. Yeah, and they, they showed that role. The rumor is, well, it was not even a rumor. Um, This is actually pointed out by the star. Murphy doesn't die in this remake. Which is good. Well, not really good. It will be interesting to see how they set it up. He's caught in a car bomb, but he survives and is paralyzed from the neck down. 
Yeah, that, that could be all right, depending on how they show. They they make it a good scene because this is going into um, the budget for this one's um, hundred million dollars estimated. And they're apparently going to be doing some stuff involving drones because they have to modernize it, so they're going to well, be of course, yeah, they doing that some back then. stuff on you know the whole drone war thing that's going right now, and it's kind mm -hmm. of addressing that issue. That's good because yeah, that's the newer aspect. And I hear that they're you know covering some of the ethics of. Robocop and they may address his human story which I hope they do. The only thing but, I don't want them to do is really push the issue as in like God look at all these drones Yeah I kind of want them to do it a little bit not really subtly but like not to a Don't make it himself. obvious not Robocop 1 himself. got that right by yeah, showing to, the failing of a police state, the police yeah, state. Not they to, showed not the, the failing point of its own detriment and they need to do it just enough but because, from yeah, read, try, anyway, the new suit going. that they have um, has the LED strip across the eyes, and it's in, it goes in combat mode. As you know, the gun comes out and the visor slides down. So you know, of course, new suit does that. Well, of course, because yeah. you can't the 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 old one, which is the old RoboCop, which is the original. He it was cool, but it's kind of silly at the same time. Yeah, it was really silly. Oh, Samuel Jackson's gonna be involved with it too. I just said that. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Samuel Jackson used a quote from the press conference the, uh, about these political and satir sorry, uh, the satire and political commentary. The relationship between fascism and robotics is going to become way more important. If you think about the war in Vietnam or Iraq, the war ended because American soldiers were dying, so we had to get them out of there. If you picture the same war with robots instead, of, instead and there is no incentive to bring them home, so there is a relationship between being able to use robots for war and fashion. Hmm. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting because, yeah, because that's, that's totally flipping the message because RoboCop original was the showings of the failing of a police state. Like, police states usually don't work for certain reasons and the failing of letting corporations run things. Batman's gonna be in it. And by Batman, I mean Michael Keaton. Yeah. Whatever. Um, let's see he's, what not gonna, he's gonna be playing, he's gonna be playing the bad guy. That's all right, because if they don't make him skinny, they make him a little bit fat and make him look, make him look like Ra's al Ghul. He'll look like a villain. And the article I'm reading, or like the headline for that thing I'm reading right now, is, it just says America is robophobic <laughs> in the movie. Um, so basically, it's going to be you know the public's going to distrust all this new. Like, well, most likely, stuff. which I, I this is what I think is going to happen with it. Early reviews of the films will hate it. Not for what it is, but for its commentary. Because, like, for example, Starship Troopers, 1996, uh, 1996 slammed by critics. Because either they didn't get the social commentary of fascism, anti-fascism, or they thought of it just as something else, like basing it off the book. Yeah. And it got slammed. But if you watch, um, if you watch it and realize it's a thing about anti-fascism, you pick it up because there are little also, hints Also, same with, same with Godzilla from 1954. It was initially met with some very critical backlash because it was opening up old wounds and, you know, trying to be... Yeah, it was really it. really quickly after. Very, it was nine years. It wasn't that much But basically time. in this movie, there's going to be a distrust from uh, artificial beings because they're, they're new. Well, the concept also just the concept of drones and everything. Yeah. Any paid, extremely paid, like newspaper or oriented reviewer may say it's bad. And I'm just saying that under my own beliefs of media controlship because it does exist. Well, there's actually a, there's actually a bunch of. You can't really say all reviewers because there's a. There's a Not ton all review, but guarantee. a good amount. Like if they're you like go to. Yeah. yeah Mainstream you go to like, reviewers. Mainstream. We're trying to, trying to be um, hip, um, hipster here, but. We're not trying to be hipsters, you know. You've probably never heard of me. But, um. <laughs> But no, there's there it's are better like sources. People are saying mainstream mainstream audiences and reviewers are going to hate Only God yeah. Forgives. Also, yeah, no. go watch Only God Forgives. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so that's what I think the RoboCop's going to be. It's going to be most likely slammed, and then the people it who do get the message are just gonna... for the fact that it's a remake of a very beloved film. That too, oh, also. I do yeah. think that from the love I hear of like how much they appreciate and love the original film, it's going to actually maybe well, hold up. Another thing I think of, some films that have been sequels have been great. Terminator 2 was amazing. 
Terminator 2, one of the best sci-fi films ever made in my opinion. That was a sequel. That was a sequel. So, in fact, and luckily, no. yeah, let's finish. Let me think you can be uh, happy for 2014 release date, February 7th, early viewing. Two months into next year. Not that bad compared to waiting for July. So, we're going to see it. Um, if you if you don't like social commentaries, don't go see it because you're gonna get a lot. You're don't gonna also you, don't watch the freaking first one. Either. You know that it's less noticeable. It's it's less noticeable. We don't know about this one, so yeah. So go see it or not. Just don't complain about the reviews about it. Personally, I don't watch films for reviews. I don't watch reviews and go see. I, the I, I, I although I do think I doubt that they're gonna be they're gonna be harming it because right now. I think political, like political Satires. commentary is it's going to be in, you know. What? It's going to be in like a fad. Okay.